Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the quick reaction to the Reading Royals defeating the Trois Rivieres Lions up there in Quebec, four to three tonight. A good game by Low, by Gerard, by Cam Strong in his first game, and also a good game in net by Pat Nagel, being able to really supply a great effort and be able to make a bunch of key saves tonight as he faced 36 shots on goal to our only 24 for our Reading Royals from Trois Rivieres. This was really of their new team the first year up there in Quebec for them. The really best offensive output game that they were able to put in and battle back with our Royals here. Of course, the Reading Royals got off to a nice start. Cam Strong was able to get a goal assisted by Tom, uh, Thomas Ebbing who was able to get the assist there. And then we had our second goal by Charlie Gerard, assisted by Jacob Pritchard, who I shouted out in my Stars at the Start of the Season video that you can go and check out. I'll link at the end of this video. And then Braden Lowe, who was able to get the assist there, who we will, of course, mention soon as well. And the goal that I would say Pat Nagel would want back is the Charlie, or not the Charlie Gerard, um, the Sean St. Amant goal that we were able to score against us at the end of the period that's one that Nagel had go through his five hole obviously at the end of the period you don't want one to go through your wickets so that's one that Nagel would want back the one that Sean St. Amant was able to score against our Reading Royals but we were still up two to one at that point due to Charlie Gerard and due to Cam Strong having a hell of a first game for our Reading Royals who then had an assist along with Thomas Ebbing who had two assists in this game so hats off and claps up to him for having a great game and then Cam Strong having the assist on the goal that Jackson Cressy just wired through through the slot and there's really nothing nothing Poulin could have done about that one but then we were able to have a goal by Anthony Ellis scored against us at 17:49. That is a goal that really Nagel couldn't really do much about and then you have a battle in front of the net goal, of course, in this game, too, that Nagel couldn't do much about, where it was Anthony Ellis for them, Peter Abadonato, and then for them, Sean St. Amant that was able to score. But all things considered, the only goal that was on Nagel was maybe the St. Amant that you saw him put his head up to the rafters. He played a hell of a game just like he did against Adirondack, and he rounds back from that off game against Maine, and that is exactly what you want to see for a veteran goal. He really gave the Reading Royals a chance to win this game as they did get outshot, and uh, the Lions really played their best offensive output game of their young team's existence, and the Royals were able to step up and be able to get a goal from Braden Lowe, that that is something Kevin Poulin's really going to want to get back on the backhander, but he's earned it. Lowe's been playing very good this year, doing all the small things like I shouted out in my past videos as well, and he's earned that goal to be able to put the Reading Royals over the top, one that Poulin will want back, just like he would want the odd angle of Cam Strong back, but nonetheless, those two cats still play great games in Lowe and Cam Strong, having a hell of a game on a goal and an assist in his first game with our Reading Royals. And then you, of course, also have Lowe getting his first goal here of the season as well. And Jackson Cressy getting his first goal as well. So his first goals all around for the Reading Royals as they're able to win 4-3 tonight, led by great goal-scoring outputs and a great first game by Cam Strong and a great game by Tomas Ebbing and a great game by Jackson Cressy. So that has been a recap to the 4-3 to three win. I would say the stars of the game are Pat Nagel for stepping up, Cam Strong for having a goal and an assist, and then we're also going to tie Ebbing with Jackson Cressy there because he had two assists and Cressy, of course, had the big third goal. So have a great time, Pleasant day, everyone. This has been a reaction to the latest edition of the Royal Tate to the great 4-3 to three win over the Trois Rivieres Lions as there's a team back up there in Quebec, and the Royals took care of business tonight. Let's keep doing that tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.